practicing, but I need to practice like I am doing an actual class. Um, so each meridian stretch helps stretch a different organ and or a meridian system. So this one and this stretches your lungs and large intestine. Mm -hmm. Then the spleen. I'm just going over the ones we already did. Yeah, yeah. The spleen and the oh. stomach coming up into the kidneys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The kidneys are the good, good. And then the heart and the triple. I mean, the heart and the small intestine. Good, yeah. I wonder if you could hold this. Yeah, like that. And then going back into the kidney and the gallbladder. Or the, the bladder. Oh. Yeah. And then if you get this, go to the solar plexus pressure point. Oh, that's the solar plexus. Okay, that's right where all in the, the middle. digestive shit is. And then you overlay for the heart protector and the whole You overlay whatever leg you have on the bottom, which is the same arm on the bottom. And you, again, the smile is very important for proper hormonal balance. You pull the abdomen muscles and engage the core. Yeah, it is. No, you can't. You can't see anything. It, it can see it, though. We oh, can't, oh, but oh, it does. Can. <laughs> and you engage the core. Mm -hmm. Into a band. Like flex the coin. Mm hmm. Okay. Smile. Wait, how are you doing? Now, the first class that I'll be doing tonight, I'm going to let everybody have a free class. The first class that people come to my yoga class will be free. Well, it doesn't even matter if, it, if it's tonight or if it's like the first. If you go up there, the first class you attend will be free. Where's the class? Where do you do the classes? Um, it is at. 28A Lane LaVale is behind the post office in LaVale and is at oh. the American Martial Arts Academy. I do uh, King So Do and kickboxing there as well. Okay. I'm a purple belt in King So Do. I've never heard of King So Do. It's Korean karate. I don't know. Who is it? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Actually, the Meridian yeah, stretches simulate the from um, Qigong. Yeah. And a lot of the forms that we do in King So Do. Did you just switch legs? Yes, yes. You switch legs and making sure the bottom arm yes. is the same as the bottom leg. Yes. And yes, my shutter may not work for the music in class. I really wish I had a deeper. Um, I have a phone with all kinds of like music, like for music. Mm -hmm. It's not like my other phone. Well, what I'm trying to do is find a phone that will work in my class tonight. Right. Well, um, I have, uh, we'll talk about that in a minute. Yeah. And then oh. from the triple protector and heart warmer, we go into the liver and gallbladder stretch. Which, and that is where you stretch your legs out as much as possible. Okay. And you bend to one side. And then to the other, and then to the middle, and then back to one side, and to the other side, and then back to the middle, and you will rise for kidney jing. And this is this may seem like easy, but this is actually the most difficult pose to do because you're supposed to hold this for five minutes. Okay. I, I, I have great difficulty actually doing that. Okay. But you have your knees slightly a little less than shoulder width apart. And you a little bend, bend. Yeah, a little bit bent. You bend your arms out. You let your fingers be tense, but everything else in your body be loose. And you have to make sure your thumbs are actually... Um, facing each other. But not and, touching. Yeah, but not touching. And if you're facing north, um, it works even better. You'll actually start to feel, if you, if you do this right, you'll feel your energy go from one thumb to the other, and it starts to feel like a little Tesla coil. Oh, wow. Well, I have a compass, like, somewhere in my purse. It works. We're facing north. north right now. Right? Oh, we north, are? Right. Okay. Mm -hmm.
then for time's sake, we won't do that for five minutes. Okay. We need to go into my sequence. Okay. Go into mountain pose. Your tailbone being pulled down to the earth, your shoulders pulled back, your head tilted up. Hands to the side. And then bend your knees slightly, pulling the hands up forward, up over your head, into fierce pose or chair pose. My yoga teacher hates that. So this chair is pose is down more, right? Yes. Well, technically, it's the same thing. It's just, um, and my, my teacher who taught me yoga, to be a yoga teacher, his name is Harikatana Das, and um, he learned from the actual, like, the Vedic tradition of yoga. Okay. And they don't use the term chair pose because they, they say chair pose would be all the way like this, and nobody yeah, yeah. does it like that. Yeah, yeah. So this is fierce pose. Okay. Then bend into a forward bend at the hands of right above the knees. With them still slightly bent. Yes. And bend the hands to the ankles with the knees a little bit less bent. Pulling the hands up behind the head. Yeah. I feel the stretch in my arm. Mm -hmm. Coming into prior pose, like my teacher would say, the hands to the heart. He doesn't like spiraling at all. Mm -hmm. And then pulling the hands to the sky, connecting the palms, connecting the fingers. Mm -hmm and pulling to one side, pushing the hips to the opposite side. Mm -hmm. and then to the opposite side, pushing the hips over. And then back to the first 